so far so good, but there's no guarantees. I won't be comfortable until I hit one of my trails off the, off the cabin. <laughs> Mountain Men was the dopest reality show to hit the screens, and it took fans to the wild ride with a crew that ditched the modern world and embraced the wilderness. These mountain people showed the world how to survive like bosses in the snow, and Marty Maiorotto was the favourite of all due to his whistling personality and superhero charm. With his rugged charm and wild spirit, he made it to season 8 successfully and let his fans bask in the love of wilderness. But then something happened that made him leave the show while fans scratched their head questioning, is he going to take a break? Is he tired of wildlife? Will he ever get back again to mountain men? So let's find out what really happened to Marty Maiorotto from Mountain Men. That plan is to try and get over the Alaska range and try and get that new machine into the Revelations. It's going to be an adventure. I'm looking forward to it, but it ain't going to be easy. Marty Maiorotto is nothing less than the ultimate edge-living badass. This dude dwelled on the wild side of civilization and rocked his trapper vibes like a boss. With a cozy one-room crib in the Alaskan wilderness, he showed his fans that life is all about being rugged all the time. They loved his hunting, fishing and trapping skills that let him dance funky beats of survival. No doubt, Marty is the real deal when it comes to getting down with nature's funky rhythms. You might be curious about how this bearded man ended up being in the mountains, fighting for survival amid the snow-capped mountains, million miles away from the busy world of gadgets. Marty was born in 1960 in northern Wisconsin, USA, to Kerry Maiorotto and Thomas T. Maiorotto. His family held a love for nature, and Marty, along with his three siblings, was destined to become a trapper. So his passion for trapping began at the age of eight, when his father introduced him to fur trapping in Wisconsin. Ever since that moment, he knew that trapping would become his lifelong pursuit. As he grew up, Marty realized that there were fewer animals to trap in Wisconsin, so he decided to move towards Alaska in 1985 along with his brother Jeff. After moving to Alaska, he took on different jobs like being a janitor and doing logging and construction work. He knew he needed to earn the things he needed like food, trapping tools and a tent. Life got a shift and in 1988 he started his career as a Chenna interagency hotshot where he got a role to fight the wildfires in the forest. So whenever he got off from work, he enjoyed trapping and hunting. Marty was a fan of living in the wilderness, so he built a cabin deep in the Alaskan mountains. Every hunting season, he set up traps 200 miles away from his village. Living in Alaska was tough, so he had to do this to survive the temperature as low as 40 degrees below zero. Well, working as a firefighter was not enough to earn a decent living, so Marty became a smoke jumper for Alaska Fire Service in 1988. While he was serving there, he spent five years as one of two pilots flying for the Alaska Fire Service. During that time, he made 337 jumps and responded to 114 fires, which is not less than heroic acts. Moreover, he flew Piper aircraft with Tundra tires on his cabin and used to collect animal skins from the traps on a snowmobile. At that time, little did he know that he was really going to become a hero. While he was struggling with his life, he got an offer from the History Channel to get aired on the Mountain Men reality show. However, Marty was the bird of mountains and he refused to join the reality show. After all, he was living a life away from gadgets, so only he knew about the reality shows was what he listened to from his friends. But you know, the best way to catch a lion is to show him some meat. Mountain Men producers persuaded him to join the reality show by telling him that he'll get a lot of opportunities to join hunting and trapping communities here. The Warm Spring Productions did a lot of effort, and finally the legend joined the show. On the reality show, Marty showed the world his real face as a tough survivalist. He showcased his amazing skills of survival in extreme temperatures. Fans loved his wilderness and his ability to endure sub-zero temperatures and working with the dangerous machinery. He was a pro in fending off wolves without a gun. In a nutshell, Marty was the most rugged and capable individual on the sets of the reality show. What made Marty famous was saving the life of author Bill Heavey in the thick Alaskan snow. He was following Marty into the Alaskan mountains and unfortunately he got lost and nearly froze to death. But Marty was a man of logical thinking and great resilience and he managed to save Bill's life. 
Bill, lying half dead in the snow, was just hoping for Marty to find him. When he was about to lose his precious life, he heard the sound of a snow machine approaching and was relieved to be saved. Whoa, it was Marty looking for him. Marty later said that he was looking at the footsteps of Bill, but returned to his cabin to fuel up the snow vehicle before continuing his journey. After this incident, he became a fan of his survival skills. He also said that Marty is a pro at snowmobile adventuring. Marty remained part of the cast of Mountain Men from 2012 to 2019 and was featured in over 100 episodes for eight seasons. However, something happened after this that made him discontinue appearing on the show. When Marty left the show, he didn't reveal anything to the fans. So fans started speculating that something bad had happened with him while facing survival in the snowy peaks. Some also thought that there's something fishy between the production company and the legend. When these speculations reached Marty's ears, he came forward to clear everything to the world. Though he never mentioned on camera how his family life is or who's in his family, the world only knows his brother Jeff, who is a trapper like him. However, you'll not be amazed to know that Marty is a married man. Yes, he's married to Dominique Mayerotto. The married couple has a daughter who also loves trapping like her father. The reality star and his wife have been living in Alaska for more than two decades. Marty gave over eight years to the show, but he felt that he's growing on in years and he should spend more time with his family now. So the adventurer left the show and went back to settle down with his wife and daughter. You'll be amazed to know that Marty's daughter Noah, who's a teenager now, is getting trained by her father to learn to line traps and flourish in the field of hunting. The family of three lives in Two Rivers, Alaska, 100 miles south of the Arctic Circle. Marty has not only earned a lot of fortune, but he's also gathered a lot of love from his fans. He's done trapping for his whole life and has been on camera for the past eight years. So what do you think how much he's made from his job and the reality show? You might think that trapping is a low paying job, but the bearded man has made a lot from it. Recently, he has a whopping net worth of $400,000. Besides the show, the reality star makes extra worth from other sources. He earns more fortune from selling animal fur. Also, before his television career, he spent 31 years in the wildland firefighting business as a hotshot smoke jumper, so his total net worth is completely justified. Marty's other side is yet unknown to the world. He's also an author of In the Land of Wilderness, which is sold for $29.90 on Amazon. Unlike a random person, Marty's life has been full of dangers and different challenges, including harsh weather, predators, injuries, and crashes. But he's proven himself to be a man of great nerves. He's balanced his family life so well and shown the world that he's courageous enough to deal with the pressures of reality TV shows and living in the wilderness. Marty will always be remembered by his fans as a humble, grateful, and optimistic adventurer who values his freedom, his passion, and his family more than anything else. Nobody can exactly tell if he'll return to the show or not, but everyone is going to miss his unmatched passion and the cool way to set lines through the snow.